You know, I've built brain-controlled robotic hands, voice-controlled cars. I'm like, I'm like Iron Man. I build these little genius inventions in my little gremlin cave. I'm also definitely a billionaire. Liar! And I gave you one chance to give me a robot idea, something, something amazing. And you guys give me some pretty, pretty genius ideas. Look at this, look at this smart little one. A watch with a goofy little robot arm. Little bit smart, little bit silly, little bit commercially viable. Or what about a robot with an offline large language model? That sounds really smart. You could probably build like a multi-billion dollar company with that idea. Damn, I might actually have to do that. Uh, give me a few months. I'll, 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 I'll get that done. No, no, the one you guys have chosen, it's due to arrive any minute. Hello? Oh, speak of the devil. Here it is. Ooh, I'm so excited. Instead of grabbing a mug, you should make a mug that grabs you. That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. I'm not doing that. I'm not even wasting money on that. I mean, it's a pretty print, it's pretty boring to watch. I'm not gonna wake you watch the sign. Oh, look at this completely regular mug. No, no, no. This, this, this is, this is innovation. This is just the mechanical design at the moment. But this is so, so stupid. We got our standard little mug design, a little bit of stuff to put a liquid in. And then we have this innovative handle work going on. Taking the finger design from this guy, slimming it down and slapping it onto a goddamn mug. You know, we could have had a flying car. We could have had a flying car, you know? I, I I can definitely build one of those, but no, 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 no. We got this, we got this. Not much good without electronics in it though. The mug's got to know when to grip something, so we've got this force sensitive resistor. Does anyone care? I, I, I don't know, but it's a piezo resistive material, meaning that when it's pressed, its resistance changes. Using a voltage divider circuit with a little bit of an Arduino, we can actually measure the voltage across this thing. Touch sensor, value go up but no touch sensor and no value. Oh, Robocus, is that, is that tape? Yeah, it is, it is, you know, it is tape. It's, it's, it's a mug that, that grips you. It, it, this thing it seems fairly standard. Then we've got these motors and a subsequent pulley system. When the motors rotate, rotating the pulleys, the finger or whatever the hell these things actually are can move as well as well as motor and stall detection, which uses a similar principle to the force sensitive resistor stuff, but like way, way, way more scuffed. You might notice crap ton of live wires here. Normally, not a problem, but we're putting this liquid into this cup. Liquid and electronics, that's a big no-no. So bubble wrap, electrically insulating, waterproof, had it in my drawer. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why did you make me do this? Doopy doopy doo a doopy doopy doo a doopy doopy doo a doopy doopy doo a. Please don't copy strike me. I'm not even monetized. Please don't copy strike me. Grippy cup. It's a semi porous multi layer mug of action. A crafty little holder that grips with satisfaction. It's got more than just tech appeal. Bye, bye. It's got a motor and tape and a feel that's real. And the crowd cheers whenever they see it a here. It's the cup, the cup that grips your time. Grippy. Grippy, a grippy cup. You know, thanks to however the hell you actually say this name and the 15 other donkeys who actually liked and upvoted his thing. I hope you're happy. I spent a, a, a week of my life doing this just to achieve this. Wow, look at look at the minimal effort required. But thanks, I really enjoyed this and, and give me more of your really bad ideas. Goodbye.